It's Madden NFL 24. And coming up, it'll be no hose barred between NFC South rivals. It's the Bucks and the Dirty Birds. And it's all up next. First opened in 2017, there's a look at the beautiful state-of-the-art Mercedes-Benz Stadium here in Atlanta, GA. Today, we've got an NFC South matchup as it'll be the Tampa Bay Buccaneers taking on the Atlanta Falcons. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn, and Charles kickoff moments away. Quickly, what are you watching in this one? The offensive line for both teams, because both teams have a terrific pass rush. They've got to keep their passers upright. If they have a chance to do that, they can both thrive on offense and move the ball downfield. The veteran punter Bradley Pinion has this one teed up, and we are underway from Atlanta. And able to get this out to the 25. So out come the Bucks now for their first drive. They'll be led out by the number one overall pick in the 2018 draft, the Oklahoma Sooner, Baker Mayfield. I tell you what, when he is on schedule for that week, secondaries take notice because you've got to stay alert back there on every snap. A truly powerful arm, one that's capable of challenging any level of the defense on any given play. That's why so many scouts preach arm talent when preparing for the NFL draft. A quarterback with arm strength to make every throw in the book, he's an asset to have in any offense. They start to drive with White. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there holding the point of attack and not giving ground. On second down, they'll run with White. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. Sometimes your philosophies get challenged at times you don't want them to. They did try to stick to the running game on the first two plays. Didn't amount to much. And now facing a third and long at the outset of this drive. An early tough test on the opening drive. This is third and eight. Here's Mayfield. He's going to look deep down the field. And he's got it. What a catch on the sideline. Call that a gain of 38. A big march forward on the third down conversion. Despite writing it down on my notes, I never give enough credit to the offensive line. And we have to here. The protection, that's what made this play a success. Quarterback had to wait for his crossing route to develop. And that takes a little bit of extra time. Excellent job by the big fellas up front. Plenty of shouts from this crowd as they watch the replay. They want a challenge, and they're going to get one. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. So the challenge there does not go their way. This will indeed remain a completed pass. Yeah, go right now. It's game time. <laughs> First down, here's White. Nifty move. Pretty nice aggressive run there before being brought down just inside of the 30. 
A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. The success there, Charles, coming on the outside of the field, the ground game. Curious to see if that continues as we progress. Yeah, we often talk about a variety in play calling and usually between run and pass. But in this case, with strictly the run game, you can be creative there as well. Run it inside, run it outside, keep the defense off balance. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Throwing, Mayfield. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. I know coaches tell us all the time to have a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. And this one is right down Broadway. And the Bucs take a 3-0 lead. Had just the one big play on the drive, but that was enough to put him in field goal range. They had one big play of what they hope will be many others throughout the game. Every team has a different target for the number of plays like that, those explosives that we talk about. That allowed them to put points on the board on that drive. Let's see how the rest of the game goes. After the main field goal, here's McLaughlin back out there to kick it away. So here come the Falcons now to get the football for the first time. And they will be led out by their rookie quarterback. We're seeing it more and more in this league, how teams love to have athletes back there taking the snaps, guys who can throw it and move around and get yards with their legs if needed. He's one of the best examples that we see out there right now. He can throw for hundreds of yards one week and then run for 100 plus the next. He adds an extra dimension that really confounds defenses when he puts it all together. Now Patterson to start the drive. Gets past one man. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. They may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. Veteran running back like him, we've seen a lot of those chunk carries in his career. And that's why you don't just look at his birth certificate and decide when a guy is done, right? Because you know as well as I do in this league, as soon as you hit 30, they're looking to let you go if you're a running back. Sometimes there's a little tread left on the tires. Now this one complete downfield on the left side. And he is brought down, but not before reaching the 30. Another big play as they get 28 out of that one. Oh, I like that play call there. After a run for good yards, you get a defense thinking they'll go back to the well. So that's a great time to call play action and give your receivers a little extra edge. And they complete the pass there for another first down. So from Buccaneer territory now, it's first and 10 at the 30-yard line. A run for the first time with Bijan Robinson. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. Someone's looking fresh, and this old line is definitely licking their chops. Everyone likes to run block. If you're an offensive lineman, nice early burst, nice gain, too. On second down, another shot for Robinson. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. They go backwards there two yards, and second and one is now third and three. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. Out of the gun now on third down. And that is caught. Falcons are able to answer the early three points and take a first quarter lead. 
Well, with this rookie QB, we talk a lot about his ball placement and how good he can be at laying it right in there. I think we just saw, Charles, though, the strength of that arm. That was an absolute rifle for the completed touchdown. It absolutely was, and let's face it, you think he was really ready to get that first touchdown? Absolutely. He threw that pass with authority, just as you described. Big-time arm right there, and let's face it, a lot of quarterbacks used to be pitchers in baseball. The fastball was usually their best pitch, and we saw it there. Now Pinion with a kickoff honors following the touchdown. And good coverage there on special teams as he'll get him down shy of the 20. Tampa Bay, they're getting ready to set up shop here for their second drive. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want it to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it. Way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, that weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive in with a kick, <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. Steps away to his left. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. This early in the game, it's all about making steady progress downfield, hoping to lead to early points. And you can do it with your actual play calls or sometimes something a little more improvised, as we just saw there. Mayfield off the play fake. Throw left side, hauled in by Otten. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. So that'll go as a four-yard loss on the play. And third and eight now. Heck of a play there to get to him quickly and get him down for a loss. I think they did a really nice job getting ready for this game, scouting, watching film, and understanding defensively what the play design was. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man to play. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That goes for a gain of 31. Well, as my dad would say sometimes, I'm just scratching my head here trying to figure out what was going on there defensively. How did you lose him in the middle of the field? If you're going to lose a receiver, make sure it's someone on the short side of things, not deep downfield, that can hurt your defense. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. Now a give up the middle. This is White. Fights through and this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. But you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. Second down and a yard. Opting to run again here with White. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. After one, seven, three, the score on EA Sports. Second quarter now, and it's Buccaneer football. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. As they've got it as we resume action. Mayfield on play action. That's completed right side to Palmer. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. That good for 21 yards on the catch and run. This drive, it's been a good mix. Three passing plays, three runs, hitting on all three of those passes, and the last one putting him in the red zone. So wouldn't you think play action right here? Because you've got the ability and had the ability to run it and throw it. Go play action and take your shot at the end zone. They'll try the right side here with White. And he'll get four there down to about the 12-yard line. Not a run that you're going to write home about, but still a good first down run. That's what an offense calls staying on schedule. Three to four yards on first down, you're set up very well for the rest of the drive. Second and six. Five, six, five, six, five, six, five, six. 
They'll go up the middle with Wright. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. In order to play really good run defense when you're playing a 3-4, those three guys up front, the nose tackle and the guys they call the defensive ends, they're usually big, big people because they're going to have to eat up a lot of blockers because it's usually five on three. And when they do their job well, guys who play on the inside, those inside linebackers, they will just roam and hit. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And the Buccaneers are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up a touchdown? Remember, he just did the tip of the ball across the plane. It's not going to get there, but they're going to be set up in great shape with first and goal. White will score. Touchdown, Buccaneers. Two good drives on their first two possessions. Remember, the first wound up in a field goal, but we all know field goals aren't going to cut it in the NFL. So they're not going to be denied here, and they wind up punching this one into the end zone. Chase McLaughlin on for the extra point. And it's through, and that makes the lead 10-7. So that one a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it was Rashad White who wrapped the drive up with a touchdown run. Following the touchdown, here's McLaughlin to kick off. On the return, here's a dangerous Cordero Patterson. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. So for the second time in this one, we get set to see the Falcons offense. As this offense comes back out here, Charles, they're trailing in this ball game, And they've been on the sideline for a while. They did score their last time out, but they just had to watch that long, sustained drive. So we'll see if they can shake the rust off. Yeah, and that's always a, a question that you have when you have to come off the bench after having sat there for a long time. Are you ready to go? Are you loosened up? But even more so, are you mentally alert and ready to put your best product out there? On first down, Daniels. Pressure too much. Down he goes. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. And every game we talk about what are going to be the keys as we go into it. Maybe that's a key for their defense today. Pressure the quarterback and make sure you play a good zone defense behind them and they get their first sack of the contest. Looking to throw on second down. Daniels. there on the scramble it gets him a first down Brandon you know I'm all about quarterbacks protecting themselves but I have to admit it I liked what I just saw there that rookie wasn't afraid of absorbing a big hit now you don't want to see him taking those shots all game long but he picked up the first down kept fighting for yards and was willing to embrace some contact to keep the play moving Throwing on first down. Daniels. Throw left side. There's London. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. 11 more on that one and another first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. A good space to operate there as he takes this down inside the 35-yard line. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. Two minutes remaining in the first half. 10-7, our score. From the 34 now, here's first and 10.
Back to throw. Daniels. Short throw caught by Pitts. And a gain of five. And it'll be second down. And let's face it, you can put any Halloween costume on him. You're not going to be able to disguise him because for a tight end of his size, difficult to sneak him anywhere, but that's what they tried to do. Lined up on his right, tried to work his way back to his left, but just a minimal gain as the defense was able to react quickly. To throw on second down, Daniels. Got a man, it's Patterson complete. Five yards on first down, but now just a one-yard pickup there on second. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Here's the seventh play of this drive. This is third and four. Looking to throw. Daniels able to find the open man. That's complete. And they will have a first down as they are definitely in field goal range now down at the 20-yard line. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play, and that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. Back to throw again. That's out wide here for Robinson. And able to get this down inside the 15 to either the 13 or 14 before he's out of bounds. Call it a gain of six on the play, and that will bring up second down. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And man, and he hits him in stride. The Falcons going to use the second of their timeouts as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. So it's first and goal and a great opportunity to get that lead back before the break. Again, he'll drop to throw. That's caught left side to tight end Pitts. He'll get only two there, and it's second and goal. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. Curry knocks this one through the post. So a long drive gets him down inside the five, but ultimately they set up for just the field goal. I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, that would have made their decision tougher, and I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation, they just decided to take the three, and I think it was a smart move. So still a little bit of time following the made field goal, but we are tied as the kick's away. So thanks to the late field goal, we are all tied up heading to intermission. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome everyone to our brand new studios here in downtown Orlando in the EA Sports Halftime Report. We thought this one would be a close battle coming in, and we have not been disappointed. They're all even to this point. This has the feeling of a game that could go right down to the wire. One mistake or one big play could turn out to be the difference.
And ready to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half, all tied on the scoreboard. Cordero Patterson to return it, bringing it out of the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. So we get set to start this third quarter. Here's the Falcons offense now. It's a tie football game here. What do you think, Charles, the message was at halftime? Well, I think that they probably just looked at things and said, we're fortunate that this is a tie game. No need to panic. No need to change a whole lot. We didn't play anything close to our best in the first half, so we don't have to go out and win one for the Gipper. Let's just go out and play our best football and win one for us. Second half begins with a run by Robinson. And the big boys up front, they're going to stop him right at the line. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know the securing the point of attack, especially against the big bodied guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. On second down, another shot for Robinson. This will be a short gain of three before he's brought down at the 22. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Here comes third down at seven. Back to throw. Daniels. Flush to his right, and he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. And the corner blitz gets him that time as he goes down for a short loss. Okay, was it a breakdown in protection? Did the running back not pick him up? What does it really matter? Sometimes it's just a great play made by the defense. Big time sack. Here's Bradley Pinion now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. We'll call it a 42-yard punt, three on the return. And the Bucs will get ready to go on offense. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. And have hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defenses right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? Beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. These offensive guys, they're tinkering like crazy. What's it going to take to get back on track? Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. But now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived, and I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. They run straight ahead here with White. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half, to about the 39. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. And 4C in completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in the expected passing situation. On third down, Mayfield. And the Falcons get there. The Falcons get the sack down. Dupree off the edge and getting to the quarterback. Well, obviously the pass rush gets the glory and the statistics on this play, but the coverage, they deserve a ton of credit too. Denied open windows, erased the quarterback's targets one by one. Everywhere he looked, someone was covered. Only a matter of time before someone got there to bring him down. And a fair catch signaled for and taken just outside the 20-yard line. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And the Falcons will be taking over first and 10. Just three yards on the play, second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. 
Looking to throw on second down. Daniels. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. This has certainly been a physical game so far. Limited scoring opportunities for both sides. And there's another chance that goes unfulfilled. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Looking to throw. Daniels. And he will not be able to hang on to the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. To give you an idea of how accurate he's been throwing the football, we're in the second half. That's just his second incompletion. Well, if he's that locked in, that means everyone's locked in because to me it's like throwing a no-hitter in baseball. The pitcher may get the credit, but a lot of people making plays behind him in the field. They'll score that a 36-yard punt, and they will take over first and 10. And Tampa Bay trots out there now. And both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively, just not able to get anything going. So what needs to change? I think a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to. How did each play work? Okay, what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us during this game? Try and get back to some of those plays, as well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already in this game and trying to change things up. We'll see if they take the advice of Mr. Davis. And throwing here to start the drive as they connect left side. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. 25 yards that time. But one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. From Falcon territory now, here's first and 10 at the 38. They go play action, Mayfield. The throw right side here gonna be incomplete. Had the right idea there, trying to throw it to the sideline, but he led him just a little bit too much, trying to get it out to his receiver. Ends up falling to the ground, incomplete. Third quarter, all tied up. This is second and ten. Running out of the gun with White. Fighting his way down to about the 35-yard line. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third and down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? Mayfield to throw it. before they're inside the 25. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. They will run with White out of the shotgun. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. 49 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang. And Evans calls it in. Touchdown, Bucks. A seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Buccaneers have moved out in front here in the final minute of the third quarter. That's why you've got your star out there. Throw the ball to him. They did. That's simply saying we don't care what coverage you put out there. He's so good. We're going there with the football anyway, and there's not a thing you can do about it. Inside the red zone, they go to him. He gets it done. McLaughlin for the extra point. He's got it as they go up by a total of 17 to 10. That time, a six-play drive. And it's Mike Evans who caps it with a touchdown reception.
Following the touchdown, here's McLaughlin to kick off. Now it's Patterson. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Atlanta now coming out on the field. And really, Charles, not much of a surprise that they're losing. They just haven't been able to get much of anything going in the pass game. And as you well know, in today's NFL, if the passing game isn't working, usually not much else is working either. Exactly right about that, partner. And I know that right now the easy answer would be, hey, let's run the football. But that might not be everything you need. So despite the fact that they've struggled throwing it, they've got to find some type of a play, multiple plays, that puts the ball in the air and allows for them to have some success. Excellent job pushing through tacklers that time to pick up six. Well, I think after that run, the defense is getting back in the huddle and looking at each other and maybe starting to question their confidence a bit. They gave up a significant run, six yards, and now you're saying to yourself, how do we stop them, and do I have enough confidence to make a play? And he'll be upended at the 33 following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. We have played three quarters. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Atlanta. It's the Falcons. They'll have the football, but trailing on the scoreboard as we get set to begin the fourth. Robinson will try to pick it up. Dancing away at the 35. And they bring him to the ground just shot of midfield. It's a gain of 16, first down Falcons. And they really needed to get something going, didn't they? They have punted on the last two possessions. The running game starting to come to the front for them, providing a nice pickup there to keep this drive going. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. He's going to go for a big play downfield. And incomplete on the deep ball. I think we're both wondering if we were going to see them try and push it deep downfield, facing a one-possession deficit late, and they certainly didn't disappoint. They gave it an effort. Here's second and ten. Back to throw. Daniels, Van Jefferson, and he takes it all the way down to the 22. 28 yards the game there on the catch and run. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield, and when they see openings, take their shots. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. Looking to throw. Daniels. Stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. And they were looking to throw, holding on a big right tackle. That's real simple, partner. Keep your hands inside in the chest area. You're probably okay. You get it out on the shoulders, get them wide. You're usually going to pick up a holding call. Back to throw. Daniels. And he'll complete this one to Patterson. Only able to gain a couple there, and that'll bring up second down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. They'll look to throw again. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. And give him 10 that time as he was able to get away from the pressure and get a nice game. Partner was a definite passing down, but he was able to leak out and pick up some good yardage, even though the coverage was excellent. Maybe it's not exactly how they drew it up, but he still got a big chunk of yardage on second down. On third down, Robinson. And they're knocking on the door now. There's a good run there. Going to take this to about the 10-yard line. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. Oh, 
A looming decision to make on the conversion down seven, but first things first, they need to score as they come up on first and goal. And a nice pick up there. It gets about five down to the four-yard line. They're mounting a nice drive here. Good chunk of yardage there again. O-line, they've been solid this drive. They have that look about them right now that says, if you do anything but run the ball behind us, you're crazy. They have really moved it well on this drive, and they want to finish it off the same way. He'll try again. And he gets in. Touchdown, Atlanta. Cordero Patterson taking it in from four yards out. And the Falcons are an extra point away from tying this game here in the fourth. But we are set up for a fantastic finish now. A fourth quarter touchdown here. We're an extra point away from a tie football game. And I know they're thinking about possibly going for two, but I'd go ahead and kick this one and just get it back to level. Coup for the extra point. And no sweat. He puts it through, and we are tied here in the fourth. A 10-play drive that time, and it results in a four-yard touchdown run. This one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. Back now comes Tampa Bay. They no longer have the lead after that last touchdown. All tied up in the fourth quarter. And a chance for this offense to mount a potential game-winning drive right here. Now Mayfield and the Bucks come up on first and 10 at their own 21. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And this is going to be intercepted. Greg Phillips has got it. And he's going to get this one to the 23-yard line. So a nice play defensively by the rookie coming up with the INT. And that's a late round pick right there, making a first round impact. And a lot of these day three corners end up winding up on special teams and sub packages and even on the practice squad. But he's really made an impact on this defense. And he comes up with the interception there. Here comes the Atlanta offense now ready to take over here. And the question, can they turn that interception into points? A tie game for the moment in the fourth quarter. First and ten, it's Patterson. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Getting to him for the loss there. That's Kalijah Kansi. Well, that's not an easy play for a defensive end because most of his responsibility has him getting upfield and working. But how about his vision to see where the play was going? Crashed down inside and tackled him for a loss. On second down, a run with Patterson. And not much of a hole there as he gets it down to about the 24-yard line. This is what happens sometimes when you abandon the running game. It's hard to get back to it because once guys get out of that mentality of firing out and hitting people, hard to get them started again occasionally. And now a tough spot here. This is third and ten. Looking to throw. Daniels. Mr. Picks and he's got him. Touchdown Atlanta. Kyle Pitts. 24-yard touchdown. And the Falcons have broken our tie and have taken a fourth-quarter lead. And now remember, all touchdowns are reviewed. And in a tight game like this, they're going to take a good, long look at it. 
They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds, and obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds? That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review, so they had it right. Still an important piece of business to take care of, the extra point. And they will take a seven-point lead now. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And it was the tight end Kyle Pitts finishing it all off on the touchdown reception. Touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. This taken in at the goal line. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. So Mayfield and the Bucks down 24-17. A minute 53 remaining. Needing to go pretty much the length of the football field as they have it first and 10. Here's Baker. This is White on the screen. Nice job by the defense figuring that play out and holding it to a short game, but I don't think the offense is going to be daunted. They actually accomplished their goal there. Now they've got them aware that they can throw a screen at them, maybe to slow the pass rush down a little bit, and they can throw it downfield. They'll come up now, second and nine. Now Mayfield. Catch right side by Evans. Now the Bucks going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Mayfield to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's going to get out of bounds with the first down. So that's going to double their pleasure for sure. They get the first and save a timeout. That's what they need right now. Get the first down, get out of bounds, stop the clock. Just playing smart football, understanding the situation, making the plays necessary, and making sure that clock stops at every opportunity. Mayfield throw on target to Godwin here. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. And this is obviously a spot where you lean on your stars. Get the ball to them in open space and let them do what they do. Two timeouts still available in this final minute. It's first and ten now. Mayfield. That'll be taken in downfield by Godwin. The Bucks going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts. As the clock will stop with 45 seconds left to go in the game. This is first and ten. Mayfield. And they're an extra point away from tying this game. And while it appears the heavy lifting was accomplished by scoring the touchdown, they're still down one. That extra point is not a gimme. McLaughlin now to add the PAT. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter. 
A drive that time of six plays. And the touchdown and PAT mean we are tied here in the final minute of play. This one, all we could have asked for. All tied, final minute as the kick's away here. Patterson going to bring this out of the end zone. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. Yeah, here now come the Falcons. Well, partner, here it is. They've got the chance to win the game. You'd have to think they need to get it near the opposite 40 to have a chance to kick a game-winning field goal. We'll see what they can do. And you're right about that, because if we look at it in macro, that's what it looks like. But I think in micro, the head coach has already asked the special teams coach, what is he feeling? What does he think? Where does he want the football? What's the yard line we have to get? And he's already relayed that to his quarterback and his offense. They know what the goal is. Now the key, can they get there? Now he's into the clear again. And finally brought down at the 38. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in this football game. Two timeouts still in their back pocket. It's first and 10. Operating from the gun, Daniels into the hands of London. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. It drives some people crazy to see those short throws underneath. They've got to find a way to gash the defense downfield. The Falcons going to use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Young Way Koo, all eyes fixated on the kicker. This to almost certainly win the football game. And this one is right down the middle. And it's celebration time on that sideline as they have taken the lead in the final seconds. The home crowd here absolutely loves it, as they should, getting the field goal in the closing moments and likely going to get out of here with a W. A W, celebrations all around. How about how everyone's going to leave this stadium, right? And you know something? He probably makes more money than most of the 60,000 people here, but they're all willing to buy him dinner tonight, aren't they? No, they don't care. He's a man of the people right now. <laughs> The punter pinion now to kick this one away. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. seen some incredible plays to win games before but in this case I think the distance is just a little bit too great for it to happen here 